Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be making a Romero Brito inspired a uh, leaf clover or just a clover in general and then we're going to make this pattern on top of it with a couple other things. So let's get going. Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be drawing the uh, the clover first and then we're going to be boxing it in boxing it in sorry can't talk uh with some patterns so first thing i want to do is create a nice border around my paper and in order to do that is i'm going to use a ruler you don't have to use a ruler though um, i'm just going to use one because i just have one lying around if i could find it oh here it is Aha. <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make my border here and another reason why i want to make my border is so i don't uh, reach the edges and uh, make my marker go off the page. So this is a nice cool thing that you can probably learn how to do. Um, if you do it often enough, uh, you'll get very used to it, like how I am, and how quick I do it. It's actually not too bad. And of course you can always erase the ends here, like how I have a couple things here, so I can erase this, I can erase that on the other side, and so on. But I'm just gonna leave them there for right now. Uh, it's not too important. The only point is, the reason why I do a border, is to keep my paper clean. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna teach you guys how I do my clovers. If you want to do a four-leaf clover, that's fine. Um, I'm going to make my clover a little more interesting so it looks nice and cool. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw a heart right here. Now draw it nice and light because you're going to be erasing some parts. So it's going to be one uh, petal of or leaf of the clover. I'm going to do another heart, but it's going to be sideways. So one right here. And then another heart on the opposite end. One right here. So once you have three hearts, all you're going to do is draw the stem nice and round. And she'll look like that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back with the marker so I can trace it all. I'm gonna make sure I don't trace anything inside. That way the clover looks nice and neat. So here I go. So I'm gonna stop right there, go back around and go around this part. Stop where the stem is, go around, stop right there. And then I'll keep going. So it'll look something like this. Perfect. All right, so this is my four leaf clover. I'm going to uh, clean it up a little bit by erasing some of these lines here. So I erase a couple of these inside lines over there. <laughs> I'm smearing my black marker here. Didn't mean to do that. All right, so that is my four leaf clover. Now I do have a border here. You don't have to have a border, by the way. Um, I just think it's nice, and I just figured I'd teach you guys how to do one. But no, it, a border is not required, guys. That's like because it makes my picture look a little more clean. Now, if you guys look behind me, uh, where it says art on my wall right there, uh, those are inspired by Romero, Romero Brito as well. Uh, again, he is a Brazilian artist, if I didn't tell you guys that before. He's still alive today, and you can see him in a bunch of things, such as uh, he designed one of the Super Bowls, I believe. Uh, he partnered up with Hallmark, so he has a bunch of products. Um, he partnered up with Disney. So he has a bunch of Disney related uh, merchandise as well, uh, featuring his famous patterns. And one of his patterns uh, features the, um, the Pi symbol from math. And uh, he utilizes that so people know that it's his. So I thought it was pretty cool. Now, once we have the clover here, we're just gonna be randomly dividing our paper up. So here we go. Maybe I'll go a line going all the way across over here. Like that. Maybe I'll go from here to there. Maybe I'll go from here down. Maybe I'll go from here over. Maybe I'll go divide this in half like that. Maybe I'll go like that. And if I want to divide my paper up more, then I can. But I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want to do too many because then I'm going to be too, too much work. And then I'm going to make sure I have a bunch of cool colors here. Now, what you're gonna do with this project is very simple. Uh, all you're gonna do is create patterns. So the basic patterns you can think of is probably um, polka dots. So maybe I'll start with some circles here. Here's my polka dots, looking really nice. And notice how when I'm doing these polka dots, I am staying within a certain section of my project here. And there we go. So that's one section with just polka dots. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna, while I'm at it, I might as well just finish this area here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna color around this whole uh, section here of my clover. And then it should look super neat. Okay, so I'm just gonna 
take my time here. I might have to speed up the video a little bit. We'll see how long this takes me, but if not, if it doesn't take me that long, I will keep the video at uh, normal speed and I will not speed this up. Uh, what I can do, I can probably show you guys a couple more examples of Romero Bruder right now, if uh, editing Mr. Miller remembers. So I'll post some right here. Um, I don't own any of his uh, products or any of his merchandise or anything like that, but again, he is a nice, cool and famous artist. And the reason why I like doing him in elementary school is because uh, his patterns are very nice and elegant and basic, and they're not too difficult to replicate. So he does like simple stuff like uh, stripes, a polka dots like how you see how I'm doing right now and um, his artwork is very very easy to replicate and I thought uh, why not do that with um, kind of like a, a St. Patrick's Day or March theme right here so that's pretty cool all right so I'm gonna let that dry before I start cutting the circles because I don't want to ruin my markers here why don't I do another pattern why don't I do stripes I'm gonna do stripes in a big area um, maybe I'll do it right here Oop, looks like this marker's already ruined Sorry about that, Mr. Marker. All right, so I'll keep doing my stripes here. And yeah, this marker is definitely seen better days. As I can see that, I think the tip is ruined with the black, I think. But it's okay. Ruining markers is something that I'm not too uh, not familiar with. All right, so I got this stripe right going right here. All right, so now I'm going to finish this off, maybe with another color. I think this color will look good with it. There you go. Perfect. This looks fantastic here. I haven't decided yet, but um, if I do have time, I most likely will. And if you find this hard to draw, um, I'll try to uh, make a PDF a printable file of this four leaf clover that way instead of just uh, drawing it out and you have trouble drawing it uh, maybe I will just have you guys just print it out so you guys can color just kind of like a worksheet so maybe uh, you'll find that easier um, so I'll, I'll prepare you guys though I will prepare you guys all right here we go I'm almost done coloring here Boom. all right so you can see I'm already done uh, a little bit of the project and you'll notice that I am doing the background so behind the clover and I'm also doing uh, the foreground which is the clover itself so you want to do everything as best you can and it should look pretty and fairly cool all right let me keep going and I think since this is a Romero Brito inspired artwork I am going to add his famous pattern here so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to color this whole entire section uh, this light green just like so, so I'm gonna color the whole section here. Just like this, the whole thing. And then once I color the whole thing, I will go back and do his famous patterns in black. So when I do um, maybe some pie symbols here. A pie symbol is basically kind of like a line down, a backwards J, and then a line on top. And that is the sign for pie. Not like the pie you eat. Pie as in the symbol for the math equation. I'm going to do a couple swirls here and maybe a couple dots. Just so it's not so boring. And that's exactly what he does too. And there you go. Cool. Another section all done. That's what I have up there. I think I did the same thing. Same colors. Alright. So why do I keep going here? I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to add maybe, all right, so safe print submission mill. I'm running out of ideas. What do we do? Uh, you can always look up some other projects that we've already done, such as like, um, I don't remember, maybe I'll post some here or there. Um, but uh, you could always make things bigger or smaller. So say, for instance, you already did stripes. Did you do small stripes? So maybe you can go like that. So why don't I go over here and make thinner stripes? And it'll look just as good. And also, if you want to repeat patterns, that's fine with me. Uh, as long as you at least change the colors, so at least there is still something different. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that in a little bit. Let me let that side dry first before I go back, because uh, it looks like that marker was very, very wet. Why don't I do polka dots here? So I'll do the exact same type of polka dots here, but in a different area. I think that would be pretty cool. So right now I'm trying to uh, copy 
the polka dots from the clover on top. So these are gonna be the same size, but in a different color. I think that's pretty neat. All right, here we go. Great. All right, I think I'm gonna color these all in with the color that I was just using just now. Try to be super careful here. It's looking really good. Generally, you guys, but I'm liking it a lot. Right, if I did mess up, I can just probably fix it with another curve right there. All right, this is looking very good. Great. Right, my project's looking very well so far. I'm doing a little bit of the clover and a little bit outside the clover. Let me do this top section before I rest my palm on it. You'll notice that sometimes you'll get marker over here. So uh, ideally, you'll, you do want to color from the top left of your page to the bottom right. But um, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, so let's cut, keep coloring here. Let's do this section, this one over here, and we're almost done with these polka dots in particular. All right, once we're done here, let's uh, move on to a spot on the page where it's not so wet yet, or not so wet with marker. That way we don't smear anything. I'm not sure if you guys realize that, but marker is very much like paint. You have to be very careful because sometimes parts of marker is not dry yet. So you want to make sure you wait before you move on to some a uh, new section. All right, so I'm gonna let that one dry. Why don't I go up here and focus on what I was doing over here? All right, I think the color would look best with this one would be uh, I want to say maybe this color. No, I kind of matched with that one. I'll do blue. Hopefully this will look good, and it does. Great work, Mr. Mill. <laughs> All right, let's just color this in. Uh, if I leave a little bit of white, that's okay. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist here. I'm just trying to be done. All right, so oh, that's, <laughs> I went over a lot of the orange over there, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to keep going here. And I did see my monitor in front of me flicker, so that means that uh, I am going over the time limit, so I might have to speed this up. So if I do speed this up, I'll see you guys when uh, I'll see you guys then at the very end. consider this project done right now um, there's a little bit of spaces that I left white uh, that was intentional so that's what I meant to do uh, with that said um, I hope you guys enjoyed this project or this Romero Brito inspired clover project I think it looks amazing uh, with this nice border I might clean it up with a little bit of eraser uh, after this but otherwise that's it anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye